And so I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to back off from being helpful to Black America because it doesn't seem like it pays off. Like I've been doing it all my life, and I've been the only outcome is I be, I get called a racist. That's the only outcome. <laughs> it makes no sense to help Black Americans if you're white. Uh, the the it's over. Don't don't even think it's worth trying. So bear in mind, that is Scott Adams before some of the develops, like developments. He's saying there, I get called a racist because I'm trying to help black people. That's that seems like an intellectually honest diagnosis of what's going on right there. That's probably why people are criticizing you. Um, so because of that long racist screed that he goes on. Uh, he gets canceled from all of these different places. Gil- Dilbert isn't going to be, I almost called it Gilbert. You know why? Because it doesn't matter, nobody cares. Um, Dilbert isn't <laughs> gonna be brought, like on these places anymore or whatever. So he is going through a little bit of in real time attempt to cope with this. So we're gonna go through some of his tweets, I want your responses. So one of the more recent ones was uh, Dilbert has been canceled from all newspapers, websites, calendars and books because I gave some advice everyone agreed with. Jesus. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's what happened. Like, what what way is this to live your life that you you cra- again? I guess it's a conservative thing to do. You craft a fictional reality for yourself in which everything you have ever done is indisputably right. You refuse to not only grow and change or even apologize. You refuse to just acknowledge that you might have misstepped in some way that maybe some of the horrific things you believe should have stayed inside of you rather than coming out. It gets worse potentially, but what do you think? I mean, I think it's interesting that again, he had a cushy ass job that he was coasting along in. And here's the funny thing about the internet and just in general. And I realize we say this on a show where you and I talk about things for a living, but Mm -hmm. you don't have to talk about things. Like you can also always yeah. like option D, shut the F up. You know, like that's like always option D for Dilbert, shut the F up. You can coast along. I mean, you, you look at Trump and you're like, bro, you had it so good. You could have just not run for office. Yeah. You know what I mean? And everything could have been fine. And he always he, always, he says that himself. So I guess that's my my feeling is very much like it's this like again, an elitism, uh usually white dudes with a lot of money who feel perfectly comfortable to run their mouths. Interesting lo- interestingly though, he wasn't like sort of like um his star wasn't on decline. I mean, he was still being run in newspapers. He wasn't doing this to like find an edge on Fox News and for people to think he was relevant anymore. He's just saying this cuz he's bored. Yeah, like he and racist. He lucked Sorry, into, don't get me wrong. Racist. And oh, bored. definitely. Yes. Um, he looked into a situation where they've been publishing his thing for years and years and years and years and years. Uh, I'm sure some people were fans of it or whatever, especially in the 80s. Yeah. Um, and he could just keep making money off of it, even though, like, what is what is the idea that like people are buying the newspaper to see it? Again, I don't begrudge people for like Dilbert or whatever. I. I there are some comics I really like. Penny Arcade is something I've been reading for like the better part of 20 years or whatever. Um, but you had that set up and you just had to keep trying. Like that wasn't good enough for you. He wants to be a right wing a hole on the internet. That's the career that he actually wants. Well, that's what you're getting. Why, why do you think, or at least pretend that you think that you can have that and do the thing where you're a part of civil society? A civil society that you despise and undermine at every turn. That's not actually how it works. Anyway, he uh, he goes through more of this mental copium. We're at the phase in which people are hallucinating they disagree with me, but they can't name the disagreement. Sometimes where there is smoke, there's just steam from a dryer vent. Have you been huffing dryer vent steam? Is that mm-hmm. what is going on? Uh, they're hallucinating they disagree, but they can't name the disagreement. Uh, that the races should separate from each other. I yeah. landed on it in one. <laughs> I think that's part of it. I Got think it. that's core to the disagreement. Yeah, yeah, right there. He posted a video of CNN canceled me for, for agreeing with Don Lemon. Again, something about Don Lemon, who is notably for the purpose of this communi- uh, uh, conversation, a black man. Yeah. Um, criticizing the black community, which is a thing that I think he's allowed to do and Scott Adams isn't for reasons that we can get into if we need to. I don't think it's necessary. He thinks that that makes it okay. But think about the position that Scott Adams is is in here. He can't even do the thing where they're like, I have a black friend. He's doing the thing where I have a black enemy and that's supposed to make me, that's supposed to make everything okay. That's not, again, 
none of this is how anything works. Um, but he's like he's trying to spin this sort of thing where it's again, he, he doesn't want to attack black people for being mad at him or whatever. So he's spinning this like new right wing anti woke thing in this tweet. I've lost three careers to direct racism so far. I don't know what those first two are, but eventually cartooning. Oh, All God. three were perpetrated by white people for their own gain. No black person is ever discriminating against me. That's partly why I identified as black for several years. The idea there is this is about white liberals, okay? Um, I don't have a problem with black people, although I'm gonna remind you that I identified as black for several years. So. He desperately wants to project this aura of him as a victim and definitely not as a racist, but he keeps undercutting it by some of the most horrendous racist things I've seen in a long time. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No black person has ever canceled me. I mean, I haven't spoken with a black person ever. No black person has been my boss at these major media companies and newspapers, um, you know, because uh, obviously the boards and the leadership are not full of black Americans. It's just like, it is it's it is so weird though that this is exactly I think what a lot of white racists do which they believe that it's all white liberals fault right that that actually the real issue isn't black people they're being you know they're fine they're over there separate from me it's the white liberals who don't like that I'm like so called telling it how it is it's like Bro, you're not telling it how it is. Nobody agrees with you on that. And you sh again, you should have kept your mouth shut and stop like, again, it's because it's just it like I understand it almost feels Kanye is esque to me and I don't wanna belabor that too much. But it's just like Kanye has interfaced with like a lot of people in Hollywood, right? And he has interfaced with Jews in the industry. And so suddenly he in his little anti-Semitic brain and who's like really very small is like, all Jews run this and that, and it's like, okay, so that's a terrible sample size. And the same thing with, with, um, with the Dilbert guy, with this guy. He's just like, he is projecting this tiny little world that he sees, but his tiny little world is again never interacted with African Americans in his goddamn life. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.